way. I totally got this one. Yeah, right. <laughs> Eat my dust, Jimmy! Ellie wins by a nose. Good race, Jimmy. Yeah, good race. What do you say we do a rematch? Starting now! Hey, that's not fair! Hold on a second. What was that noise? Well, I sure hope that was your stomach rumbling. No, definitely not my stomach. I think it came from the barn. Let's check it out. Oh. Hello? Hello. Is anyone in there? It's just me and Jimmy. Can we come in? Oh, see, just like I told you, it's probably nothing. If anything, it's just a... Uh, uh, go! Stop! Jimmy, wait! Ghost, ghost, ghost! Oh, major spooky time. We have to hide. My trusty blankie will protect us. <laughs> wait, hold on. Are we sure that there's a ghost out there? It could have been anything. What if it was an animal inside the barn? <sighs> Are your ears working? That was definitely a ghost. I can still hear the sound it made. Woo! Woo! Yikes! Fine, if it was a ghost, we can't hide under the trusty blankie forever. Plus, we left our scooters by the barn. We're gonna have to go out there eventually and get them. We are gonna have to go? As in Ellie and Jimmy? No, thank you. I am quite content where I am. Thank you very much. The ghost can have my scooter. You hear that, Mr. Ghost? The scooter's all yours. All right, it looks like I'm gonna have to go get both of the scooters by myself. Hmm. Yeah, sounds good to me. In fact, I think that might actually be your best plan ever. I'll be on lookout here while you go get the scooters. Oh, wonderful. You stay right here while I go outside with the ghost. Whatever happened to, I'm Jimmy, the bravest boy in school. Well, hey, I'm still the bravest boy in school. I'll just have to show you next time, that's all. Fine, next time. I'll be on the lookout. Oh man, please work. This will be no problem, boys and girls. All we have to do is pick up the scooters and then leave. Okay. Almost there. I don't know why Jimmy was so scared to do this. <laughs> Got them, yes. Maybe I should check on the barn again. I'm sure it's nothing. Maybe it's just butters. Oh, or Jimmy's pet skunk stinky. Wait. Why are you turning around? Hello? Is anyone in there? Butters! <laughs> what happened? What happened? Okay, Jimmy, so you may have been right about the ghost. I think I just heard the spooky sound again. The spooky sound? Oh no! The woo woo Rooney! Yeah! Except, no, it didn't sound anything like that. But I think I also saw something as well. Oh no, you saw the ghost. That means it's definitely real. What did it look like? Was it floating in the air or was it walking on the ground? Well, I don't really know. It was only there for a split second, but it was green and that's it. And then I ran away because I was scared off. Oh, green ghost. Those are the scariest kind. Oh, we're done for. Oh, and one more thing, Jimmy. I kind of left the scooters there. Oh, don't worry about that. At this point, we just need to accept that our scooters are gone forever. In fact, I have an idea. What do you say we start writing our Christmas list for next year? Let's ask Santa for brand new scooters. Hold on, Jimmy. You said that you were going to show me you were a brave boy next time. Well, this is that next time. Why don't you go out there and save our scooters? Give it a shot. You want me to go out there all by myself and face the ghost? <sighs> all right, fine. But just so you know, I was going to ask Santa for extra fast scooters this year, so you can just forget about that. All right, good luck, Jimmy. And I'm going to be right here holding down the fort. Okay. Hey, Jimmy, what happened to the bravest boy in school? I'll tell you what happened to the bravest boy in school. He's right here, and he's going to save the day and save the scooters with his patented ghost catcher, Rooney. Now, it may look like a pool skimmer, but that's by design. Don't want the ghost catching on. Almost there. Hello, Mr. Ghost? It's just me, your old pal Jimmy, friend to all ghosts and ghostly spirits. I'd just sure like to get my scooter, if that's okay with you. Say nothing if it's okay. You got this, Jimmy. <laughs> what was I worried about? Ellie probably just heard the wind or something. Or, <laughs> or... Or a big spooky ghost! Ah! I'm out of here! 
Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. Barn, ghost, scary. Woo. Okay, Jimmy, slow down. Tell me what happened. Well, there's a big green scary ghost in the barn. It's gonna get us. So just like you said, Blinky. Oh no, not the Blinky again. All right, it looks like we're gonna have to defeat this ghost once and for all together. Come on, Jimmy, let's go. Jimmy, are you ready for the plan? Oh, as ready as I'll ever be. Can you tell me the plan one more time? Okay, so we're gonna take this bologna sandwich, put it in front of the barn to lure the ghost out, and when it comes out, we're gonna spray it with our anti-ghost spray. <sighs> All right, I sure hope this works. Oh, don't worry, it will. Okay. Quick, hide! I think I hear the ghost coming now. Okay, I'm gonna jump out on the count of three. Three, two, one. I'm out of here. Ah! Oh! Oh, Ellie, gosh. you got silly string all over my bologna sandwich. I'm sorry, coach. Wait, were you the ghost the entire time? Ghost, where? Well, we heard this really, really weird noise, Jimmy and I, like, woo. Oh, well, that wasn't a ghost. That was me practicing my yodeling. You see, the annual yodeling contest is in a week, and I want to make sure my yodels are in check. Phew, that's a relief. Me and Jimmy thought it was a real ghost. Well, he'll be glad to hear it's not. Yeah, I didn't want to disturb you, so I came to the barn, but looks like I ended up scaring you. <laughs> That's okay, Coach. Looks like ghosts aren't real after all. Yep, but since I have you here, maybe you could tell me how my yodels sound, all right? Ready? Oh no, the ghost. I'll save you, Ellie. <laughs> Coach Rocco. All right, little Red Riding Hood, I want you to head over to Granny's before sundown. Now, I made all of Granny's extra special treats for her 99th birthday, and I want you to be there on time because she gets a little cranky if she doesn't get her birthday presents. Sure thing, Mama. What's in here anyway? Well, I made my famous broccoli cupcakes, anchovy muffins, and to top it all off, chocolate chip meatballs. <laughs> Sounds great. Are you sure Granny likes this stuff? Oh, she loves it. Oh, and one more thing. A delicious apple pie for dessert. There you go. Well, at least she'll have that. All right, I'm on my way to Granny's, Mama. See you later. All right. Uh, good luck out there, and dead. Remember, it can get dangerous in the forest. And don't talk to strangers. La, 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 la. Only a few more minutes until I get to Granny's house. Jimmy! Well, I mean, uh, I'll... Hey, what's up? I'm Little Red Riding Hood. Who are you? You mean you don't know who I am? Oh, come on. Big ears, fluffy tail, paws. I'm the big bad wolf. The biggest and baddest wolf in the whole school. I mean, uh, forest. Aren't you scared? No, not really. Doesn't ring a bell. Plus, you're fuzzy and cute. Oh, man. I knew that I looked too cute to be taken seriously as a big bad wolf. I'll never get the hang of this. Anyway, what can I do for you, Mr. Wolf? Hmm. How about we play some basketball? Yeah, big bad wolves love basketball. Check this out, Little Red. I call it the wolf a oh, Wait, basketball? There's no basketball in Little Red Riding Hood. Aw, oh, come on. Don't you think that it would be way cooler if the big bad wolf played basketball? And he could teach all his little wolf friends how to do the wolf a -rooney. Stay focused, Jimmy. Everybody knows that wolves don't play basketball. Their claws would pop those basketballs right open. Now let's get back to the story. Anyway... 
So, Miss Little Red Riding Hood, what you got in your basket there? Oh, I've just got some goodies for Granny. I've got some anchovy muffins, Ooh. broccoli cupcakes. Yum. Oh, and some chocolate chip meatballs. Wow, those sound like the tastiest treats ever, especially for a really hungry big bad wolf like me. What do you say I take a little free sample? Afraid not. This is for Granny's 99th birthday, you know. She's gonna eat every last bite. Aw, fiddlesticks. <laughs> hmm. Now say, this granny of yours, just where might she live? Oh, you know, just over by the grassy path, across the cranny brook, and by the chestnut tree. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Well, since I can't have any of your goodies, I guess I'll just be on my way. But make sure to tell Granny that I said happy birthday and that I hope her party is simply delicious. <laughs> Sorry, I had to see that. Boy, oh boy, did that wolf have no manners at all. Well, I guess he was raised by wolves after all. I heard that. This must be Granny's house, and no sign of Little Red anywhere. Granny will have no idea that it's actually a wolf at her door. Not with this awesome disguise. Let's do this. <clears throat> oh, Granny, it's me, your granddaughter, Little Red Riding Hood. Trick or treat. Wait a second. Halloween? I don't remember that being in the story. Oh, come on. Let's just leave it in. Halloween's my favorite holiday. Please. All right, we'll roll with it. <laughs> uh, Trick-or-treaters? I thought Halloween was months ago. Well, there's no treats here. I'm sorry. <gasps> Silly granny. Don't you recognize your own granddaughter? It's me, Little Red Riding Hood, and I've got goodies for you. So let me in and we'll have a feast, or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Oh, wait, sorry, uh, wrong fairy tale. Uh, Tee -hee. Well, it does sound like Little Red. Go ahead, come in. <laughs> oh, Little Red, I'm so glad you're here. It just wouldn't feel like my birthday without those chocolate chips. Gotcha! I'm not Little Red at all. I'm the Big Bad Wolf. Ow! Big Bad Wolf? You're the Big Bad Wolf. Why are you wearing that orange hat? And why do you have that cute, fluffy tail? Uh, because I'm a very fashionable wolf. I don't know. And also, I'm not cute. I'm big and bad and scary. And now, I'm going to eat you. Eat me? Why would you eat me? I'm not very delicious. <laughs> because I'm a wolf? And you're a grandma, and this is a fairy tale, and wolves eat grandmas, obviously. Hold on, hold on. Jimmy keeps saying that he's supposed to eat me. That can't be right. Well, that's what it says right here in the book. The wolf is supposed to eat the grandma. I think technically the wolf does eat the grandma in the story, but I think we can change it around this time. Yeah, why can't the wolf just chase the granny away? Huh. Oh, fine. <laughs> oh, the big wolf's trying to eat me. You can run, but you can't hide, Granny. I'll get you sooner or later. And now to wait for Little Red Riding Hood and her basket of goodies. Ow! La, 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 la. I made it to Granny's. <sighs> Just in time. Hey, Granny, are you in there? I got your goodies. Happy birthday. That's weird. The door's open. Granny? Granny, are you in here? Oh, hey! Little Red Riding Hood, oh, my favorite granddaughter. Thank goodness you've come. Granny's starving. How about some goodies? Uh-uh-uh. You look a little off, Granny. Are you sure you're feeling okay? Oh, uh, well, uh, turning 99 takes quite a toll on a woman, you see. But once I have those goodies, I'll look all better. Oh, but Granny, what big eyes you have. Oh, the better to see you with, my dear. But Granny, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my dear. Granny, what a great big orange basketball you have. The better to do spinneroonies with, my dear. Spinneroonies? You're not my Granny. You're Jimmy. I mean, the Big Bad Wolf. That's right. Now time for a snack. No! Ah! 
Jimmy, how long am I supposed to sit in that dark closet? It's getting stuffy in there. Coach Rocco, I mean, Granny, I'm not Jimmy. I am the big bad wolf. You're ruining the story again. You can't expect me to sit in there all night. I'm supposed to be a 99-year-old woman. Guys, stop! Now I'm going to eat this apple pie all by myself if you two don't stop fighting. See you in the living room. Apple pie, wait for me. So long, Granny. Hey, it's my 99th birthday. I should get the first slice, not some silly wolf. And so, Little Red Riding Hood, Granny, and the wolf all ate the apple pie and lived happily ever after. Wow, what a story, Coach. Yeah, that was quite the fairy tale. I sure am glad that those things are just fake and not real, though. Anyway, what do you say we get some apple pie? I'm hungry. Jimmy, what are those? Uh-oh, I think the fairy tale might be coming true. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> Can you believe they fell for that? This is just my wolf costume from last Halloween. Anyway, about that apple pie. Uh-oh, what's this? I didn't put this on. Where did this come from? Oh! Wasn't that video super fun, Sparkle Squad? Boys and girls, if you want to watch more of my videos, make sure you type Ellie Sparkles in the search bar. And mom and dad, if you want to learn more about me, you can check out my website at elliesparkles.com, my Instagram, Ellie Sparkles Official, or on Facebook at Ellie Sparkles. <laughs> See you soon.